Hi everyone! In this program, you're going to find the factorial of a number using recursion. The task description says, write a program that takes a number from the user and then displays the factorial of that number. But the thing is, you need to display it using recursion. So, we haven't done this yet. We know the factorial. We have worked with it quite a lot. So, as usual, Pause the video, attempt the program, and I'm sure you're going to shine splendidly. And you're going to see my solution after three seconds. All right, so I'm sure you enjoyed the challenge. And I'm going to say, uh, let's start working on it. Uh, first off, I'm going to grab the user input, and I'm going to say, enter a number. And then let's create a function, and I'm going to say, recur factorial let's pass an n now if n equals zero i just want to return n otherwise i want to return because this is factorial the factorial is the the multiplication of all the numbers preceding that number and including that number as well starting from one all the way to that number that the user has entered that's why we're going to say n times recur factorial and i'm going to pass in as usual n minus one just so that the function keeps redu keeps reducing down now we are going to check if the number is positive so you know what i don't need it commented out you know what i'm doing here so if number is less than zero we are going to what is that less than zero we're going to print to the user the factorial does not exist for negative negative numbers and then we are going to say elif number is equal to zero we are going to print to the user the factorial factorial of zero is one and else is where the magic happens we are going to say print uh, the factorial let me quote this factorial of provide a comma the number that the user has entered provide a comma you could do this very easily with the formatted string as well i'm just trying to be diversified and then we are going to call recur factorial and we're going to pass a number here there we go very simple stuff so let's call this function we have 10 so if i pass in three three times the factorial of three is going to be six because three times two times one which equals to six the factorial of three is all right so what is wrong in here the factorial of three is zero why why is it zero so we have enter a number if number is less than zero if number is zero and in any other scenario which means that the number is greater than why is it grabbing this condition if uh, n equals zero if n equals zero n is not zero i think uh, if n is equal to one because we have said that if number is equal to zero then the factorial is going to be one but what if the number is one we just want to return the number itself let's take a look at this program again let's pass in three and there we go it says six why did it say um three why did it say zero was because this was keep re uh, being reduced and at the end we got n equals zero and when we had n equals zero we basically multiply this so zero t multiplied by any number or any set of numbers is always going to give us zero and this was a, a mistake here well, whenever the n is equal to one because if it is zero we have an if statement for that if it is less than zero we do have an if statement for that as well but if it is greater than zero for example if it is one we just want to return because the factorial of one is one 
But if it is greater than one, then, then we are going to enter this realm. That's it for this program. See you in the next one.